Welcome back to Shop Dog Garage. I am here to do a little vacuuming. I brought my vacuum because I have some of those uh, drywall bags. So I've got one in there that'll cut down the dust a lot and capture all of this. So I threw a drywall bag in there. I know he's got a big shop vac as well, but he doesn't have those bags. He's been in here working. So I'm supposed to take a peek at this. Yeah, you can feel it's still a little low there, but not like it was. Not even close to like it was. Hey, that looks like my glove. Oh, I literally just took it off. Okay, it's it's later than I want it to be. Yeah, we did raise that one quite a bit. Okay. Yeah, and then you recall, we were working this one, trying to get this dent and this dent out. And they're definitely within the range. So, and it looks like that's where he's working. Yeah, you can see he's been in here stitching and welding. So, yeah, all those little holes. So, looking pretty good. I can see that this needs to pull a little bit yet, it looks like. I'll have to turn that over later and take a look. I need to acclimate. It's kind of chilly in here. It's a little cold out. So I'll get acclimated. But I had to bring a bunch of uh, stuff over anyway. Okay, we're down here. Been kind of vacuuming, cleaning. You know, there's probably a good 40 pounds of sand still in here. So it's going to take a few minutes. Well... Knowing this is the first time I've gone through that, we were a little optimistic with this tape. <laughs> it didn't do anything. Look at that. Went right through that tape. No big deal at all. So, that's a bummer. Now we're getting there. It's, uh, it's a lot of dust. It's a little messy in here. I'm getting ready to get in here and scoop this out. And then give it a good vacuum as well. And then we'll see... Just how much dust is under the car. And that's our first pass. I'll keep going over it and over it. But if I can get 90% of the sand out of here, that sure would help. I just pop the hood. See how bad it got under here. And yeah, some dust, but it really actually didn't get that bad. I thought it was going to be a lot worse. Yeah, I thought it would all look like this, which wasn't covered. So... Yeah, I can use a good rinse, but I'm going to vacuum everything I can reach with my little brush. Okay, next time we have a reasonable weather day out, we'll push it out and blow it off with some air. If we get a real warm day, we'll rinse it. I was going over this going, God, it got awful filthy. And that's when I realized, hmm, I think it was filthy before we started. Okay, so there's a few things to note. One, we had talked about this before. These quarters had been done. You can kind of see. I'm using the light to really make it look worse than it is. Honestly, this is the worst bit of welding on this one. So that one sure looks pretty good. Pretty happy with that. And they did a great job here. Now, we do have some work here. And let's see this one. Same guy did the welding, I think. You know, same style. So that repair doesn't look terrible. And then we have a little something right here. And a little something right here. Okay, coming up here. Harlan had pointed it out. Ah, you can't see it now, but there's a little bit of work here. That's awful thin. Um, let's see, he already took care of this, did a good job there, that looks great. You can see duct tape does not work as good as we'd hoped. There's some lessons here, we're, we're learning stuff. <laughs> so, this is the first time I've had a car blasted, and, uh, there's a few lessons. Also, obviously, that disappeared, don't know where that went. <laughs> so, um, coming around here, you can see all the repairs Harlan did here, those look pretty good. Trying to decide if that's leftover sealant. I think it is because this is the only piece of original right there. 
So I think that's actually just urethane. So that looks pretty good. Here, there's a little, little bit right there where, you know, where the leading happened. Okay, I don't know that I see anything else here. These channels actually looked pretty good, so we were happy there. Um, with everything going on, we decided not to blast that. We'll figure a different solution there. Um, inside, much as I expected, there's, you know, we'd already fixed that floor pan years ago. So, and that was the only rust in the floor from before. Um, I don't know. Yeah, you can't really see in there. So, yeah, I think overall the body's actually more solid than I expected. I thought this was where all the work was going to be not the fenders so due to the sheer amount of work that there is on those fenders and the fact that if we did all the repairs we'd wind up having to refit the fenders anyway uh we we went with some good marks they should be here sooner or later and we will see just how much trouble we're getting in there but i think that's a point where i gotta trade some money for some time um you know there's only so much you can ask a guy to do and I think Harlan's already doing it. So, yeah, overall, well, some lessons learned here. I uh, hadn't done this before. It's kind of neat. Okay, and I've been looking at this. I've been pulling on these two a little bit more just to try to get us a little closer. But I really need one right here. So I'm going to put one more spot there. We're just trying to minimize the amount of filler we need to make it smooth. It's never going to be perfect because of all the welding and everything but we can get it a little closer. Okay, so now I can probably pull that valley up a little bit. I gotta be careful, I don't want this edge to move, but I do need that to, otherwise this might oil can a little. I don't know that this shows up on the phone, but see, that brought that up good, oh, at least an eighth of an inch, maybe three sixteenths. Just, we're trying to minimize how much it takes to fill this. There's nothing we can do with the welds here you know we're not going to be able to make this perfectly smooth it's just you can see it's stretched here if we bring all that up it's gonna it's gonna want to go over so i think that's a reasonable you know i'll i'll find the scraper real quick find some high points just to make sure that it looks like i think it does in real life because remember we don't want to monkey with that edge a little bit more but that's about all we're going to be able to do you can see there's still there's still some filling to do there's nothing i can do about that but let's not make it an inch thick it dawned on me that some people wouldn't know because i've never done drywall work what a drywall bag looks like see it slips over that inlet and it lays in there and it's a real 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 fine paper so you're still sucking through but the dust is getting through. It's all getting trapped in that bag. They're not very expensive, you know, compared to the mess that would be coming out the back of that if you didn't use it. And I think they're worth having. I always have two or three in the shop. And with that, I need to get back. We've got work to do. But it was nice to get away for a little bit, do a little cleanup. I just, you know, a project like this, I gotta grab time where I can. A little here, a little here, a little here. So... Looks like Harlan's been doing the same. Yeah, you can see where he pulled that stud, so there won't be much clean up here, won't be much clean up there. Because you can't get them perfect, but you can get them really close. So, anyway, that's been a 67 Camaro video. Thanks for watching.